Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to drag and drop effects from the effects browser in Reaper. Now, if you're familiar with Reaper, you probably know to add effects to tracks, we go over here to the effects button and just click it. And that opens up our effects browser, but we could also open it up from the view menu. Right over here, effects browser. And we could also use the keyboard shortcut, Shift F. And we do it this way, instead of putting it on specific tracks, we can drag and drop it instead. For example, let's add an EQ to the snare, just drag it and drop it on the track. Now that EQ is on the snare track. Let's do the same with our kick, drag and drop it. Now the EQ is on the kick. We could also drag and drop it with the settings that we set up to other tracks from here. So if I want to put this on the rack tom, just drag it from here to the rack tom. And now the EQ with those settings are copied there. We could also move it with the settings. Let's delete it from the snare and the kick. And now we can move this EQ from the rack tom to the snare. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just drag it to the snare. And now it's on the snare instead. There's no plugin on the rack tom. So we can copy it or we could just move it. We could also copy it or move it while it's closed. So that a Q that's on the snare can be copied to the kick. Just drag it from here to here. Or we can move it with the same modifier from here to here. And now it's on the kick instead of the snare. Now, besides putting it on the track effects, we could also put it on the input effects. Now, the input effects are effects that are going to be printed when we record our tracks. It gets recorded with the audio. Shift F to open our browser. Let's say we wanted to add an EQ to the input effects on the snare right over here. Just drag and drop it right to there. And now instead of it being on the track effects, it's on the input effects. And we could do the same thing from here. We could copy it to this one. We can move it to this one with the modifier. Now, besides the track effects or the input effects, we could put effects right on items. Let's scroll down to some vocals. Let's open up the effects browser. And right from here, we can drag and drop our plugins to our items. Just drag it and drop it on the item. And now the CQ is just on the item. It's not on the track effects or the input effects. So we could drag it to our items like this, or even if it's closed, just drag it from here and drop it here. We'll use the modifier to move it. And it'll keep the settings that we set up. Now this will also work in the mixer. If we open up the effects browser, we could choose effects from here and drop them on tracks in the mixer. Let's put this on the kick. Now the plugin is on the kick. Right over here. And from here, we could drag it to other tracks and retain those settings. Let's put it on the snare. Same settings. Or we could delete it and move it with the modifier. Keeps the settings and moved it from the kick to the snare. Now we could also do this with effects chains. Open up the browser. And instead of choosing our plugins, we could choose an effects chain right from here. 
I saved one earlier for male vocals, and I could drop this on the track, the items, the input effects. Let's put it on the track. And I have three plugins, an EQ, a compressor, and another EQ, with their settings all dropped on this track. And just like with the individual effects, we could drop chains to other places. Just select them all and drop them to other tracks. So it's a great way of copying multiple plugins with their settings just by dragging and dropping them. And we could also use keyboard shortcuts to do the same thing. For example, let's go back up to the drums, open up the effects browser. Let's say we wanted to add an EQ to the snare. Instead of choosing it from here and dragging and dropping it, we could right click and create a shortcut. Let's put in a keyboard shortcut and we could trigger the same thing with that keystroke. Just select our track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it adds an EQ to that track. Do the same with the kick. And we could do this with multiple tracks at the same time. Let's clear these. And let's select all these tracks. Hit that keystroke. And now we added an EQ to all these tracks. And we can do the same thing for items. Let's go down here to these items. Select a few of them. Let's hit that EQ keyboard shortcut. And it puts an EQ on each one of these items. But we can do the same thing with effects chains. Let's open up the effects. Go to the effects chain and add a keyboard shortcut to this. Create shortcut. Create a keystroke. Now we can hit that keyboard shortcut while selecting these items. And it puts that effects chain on each item. Right here. Which we could do for multiple tracks as well. Let's select these three. Hit that keyboard shortcut. And it added that effects chain to each one of our tracks. So it can be a lot quicker to add effects in this way, either dragging and dropping them from tracks or using the keyboard shortcut in the effects browser. So that's pretty much it. That's how to drag and drop effects from the effects browser in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.